from the Bolton region, Sato. And she is accompanied by Mama Nessa, due to our new fear of the traditional council. Tato Ghana to me dogbenami enye mi avi seto me galafila akpedenami thank you so much for all the support that you have given me this far i couldn't have come this far without you to my honorable regional minister honorable archibald lecha to honorable enes nongwe to togbe ajanye the fourth to my family friends and fans i couldn't have done this without you to settle management team. Thank you so much for all the work that you have done for me. We are at the grand finale and tonight I am going to set the stage, I believe. My project is on mental health. According to WHO, one out of every four people will go through a mental health crisis at some point in their lives. This goes a long way to affect productivity and in the long term, affects the economy. This is why I feel it is very important for everybody to pay attention to their mental health. Because of this, I will ask you to fully support me and vote massively for me so that I can bring the crown home. The short code is still star 713 star 13 hash. Or you can download the TV3 Reality app on Google Play Store or Apple App Store. Akpenami. Thank you. Seto is clothed by Ryder Wan Couture with hair by Best and More Limited. Ladies well groomed by African American Beauty Academy. Inspiring beauty beyond borders. Accessories by Magdal Couture. <laughs> From here, we are meeting at the Bema Hall. Parade will dismiss. Dismiss! Madam Sir, Madam Sir, your letter. Dear W.O. Seto, we are sad to inform you about the demise of your only daughter, SNL, in a fire outbreak at your residence. No! on my head depression came over my life they called me emotional weak and unable to carry out tasks diligently anxiety dragged me they called me uncertain unintelligent and some even called me dirty I lost weight they said my beauty had worn off I lost my self-esteem, my self-worth, and I started to fall sick. I begged for help. I was either criticized or rejected. There was so much stigma. At a point, I almost took my own life. All I needed was love and support and somebody to tell me that there will be hope. It could be you, you, or even you. Yes, it happens to the best of us, even the strongest of us all. Even brave soldiers like us who go through post-traumatic syndrome and yet are expected to wear the courageous heart of a lion just to protect you. 
somewhere in many communities, and even among us here, people are going through mental states of varying severity. And sharing mental health has become a worldwide imperative and an important target of the Sustainable Development Goals. According to WHO, one out of every four people would go through a mental crisis at some point in their lives. Yes, you, you, you and even you, one of you may be going through a mental crisis at some point in your life. And yet, we wear the apples of perfection when we have to deal with the neighbor across the street. Of the 30 million people living in Ghana, 13% suffer from a mental disorder with a huge number of children born with intellectual disabilities. Mental health has a direct effect on our physical health and vice versa. This goes a long way to affect productivity and will in the long term affect the economy. This is why I have chosen to take up this task. At the end of my project, I hope to have created mental health awareness in the population. I hope the members of the community would be able to discuss mental health issues. I hope that they will be able to discuss the elimination of stigmatization, prejudice, and myths surrounding mental health by freely sharing their experiences. I hope to establish mental health support groups for and by people with lived experiences. I hope to have been able to educate people on the availability of treatment and referral centers. The first phase of my project will start in the North Town District, as the Honorable MP Samuel Okujeto has expressed interest in hosting the first phase of my project. He will help me in the mobilization of traditional authorities, opinion leaders, local resources, and women's groups. I will further liaise with the Mental Health Authority, the Ghana Health Service, the Ghana Psychological Association, local NGOs, and churches to help promote human rights in mental health-related issues. As part of my project, I hope to embark on a media awareness campaign this I will do by dramatization and jingles, which will be played on TV, radio, and social media. I also intend to participate in mental health talk shows and host them. I also intend to embark on outreaches, not only to educate people about mental health, but to screen them and evaluate their mental health, as well as physical health-related issues. This I intend to do with the help of my colleague doctors, some of who have already volunteered to be on this very useful campaign. There will be floats, quizzes, and competitions for school children to enlighten them on how to protect their mental health. I will push for scholarships for children living with intellectual disabilities. I intend to introduce self-help tools some of which are self-centered recovery tools, which will help engage people in activities and wear away negative thoughts. As part of my project, it will be very important for me to set up a project secretariat, and I'm glad that the CEO of the International Health Expert Group, Dr. Gameli Kwame Nongbe, has pledged his administrative support for this project. <laughs> Clearly, our project is going to take place over a period of one year. I will work together closely with sponsors, corporate Ghana, with local and international NGOs like JICA and USAID to make sure my project comes to a successful end. Clearly, my project is smart, specific, checked, measurable, checked, achievable, checked, relevant, Check. Time bound. Check. Our project is ready to go. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. One more time for Seto from the Volta region. I think she deserves better. Do it better for Seto.
Jigwari, can I please come to you for this one? Seto, you gave a, re a very relevant topic. Uh, you presented it eloquently and intelligently. And I think, I believe that this project will probably take you far. Well done. Well done coming from Jigwari. Let's go to our guest judge for the night, Linda, for your thoughts on Seto's performance. Seto, scope, check. Relevance, check. Time frame, check. Mode of delivery, check. Overall, check, check. It's a check for Seto, ladies and gentlemen. She has represented the Volta region for this year's GMB. Seto, I'll go with you. Pick your question. All right, so Seto has picked her question, and please listen attentively. Now, in August this year, the president launched the Agenda 111 project. The project will ensure the construction and equipping of 101 district hospitals and regional hospitals. Some Ghanaians have suggested that instead of embarking on these new projects, the government should focus on improving existing hospitals. What is your view on this issue? Thank you very much for the question. I think that the Agenda 111 project in the long term is a very laudable project as it is very important for the country to have more hospitals to be able to treat people and then treat sick people. But it is also very important for the country to know the state at which it is in. We need to know whether we are delivering quality health care. According to a coalition of NGOs, in health, there have been 53 abandoned, uncompleted projects which can actually be refurbished into hospitals and can be equipped with, with regional hospitals upgraded to tertiary hospitals and are equipped with MRI, CT scans, which are not very available in most of our hospitals. We also need to know that the doctor-to-patient ratio is about 1 to 10,000. It will be more important to train our human resource so that we will have more doctors and more health personnel in general to be able to, de uh, to deliver quality health care. What is the use of hospitals if we don't have personnel in it to be able to treat the people? As well, as well, I also think that it will be important to to make our national health insurance scheme very, very affordable, to include more things on our national health insurance scheme. As a doctor, I know that in the hospital, some patients come and they cannot even afford their bills. If we strengthen our national health insurance scheme, it will be better for us so that people can be able to afford quality health care. The CHIPS compounds in the rural areas, however, can also be strengthened to make it easier for people living in the rural areas to be able to access quality health care. It is also very, very important for us to, to, to make sure that we strengthen our ambulance systems so that people can be able to get to the hospital readily before emergencies happen and before people die. For me, I think in the long term, it is very beneficial. But for the meantime, all these projects need to be checked. Thank you. Seto from the Volta region.